Hi, this video has been produced for students studying how to produce the financial statements for a sole trader from incomplete records. In this first of three videos, we'll look at how we can use the accounting equation um, to find the missing figures or using net assets to find missing figures. Here's question one. I suggest you pause the video at this moment to absorb the information. So let's take a moment to see what information we are trying to find. You see down here it says we need to find the long term loan account balance. So that must be our missing figure. Now we have been given information about the assets of the business as well as the liabilities. Now if we look over at the equation on the right hand side, we know that net assets equals capital. If we expand that to the full accounting equation, assets minus liabilities equals capital. In other words, net assets is the difference between the assets and liabilities of a business. So what we're going to do is first of all calculate the net assets from the given information and then we'll see if we can find that missing loan amount that we need to find here. So let's start by transferring some information. First of all, we have the capital. Now we know that net assets equals capital, so let's put our capital figure in here. There we go. Now let's start to work out what our net assets are. So I have already taken the liberty of typing them in, as you can see here. So I've just gone down the list on the left hand side transferring that information into a group of assets and a group of liabilities, leaving that missing loan figure empty because we need to find that. Notice how the allowance for doubtful debt is showing as a negative figure because it's a reduction on our trade receivables balance. So we have a preliminary net assets figure here, but it's missing that loan amount. So once I've added the assets and the known liabilities, or rather added together the assets, deducted the known liabilities, I end up with 16,925. Now I can see that's incorrect because it should equal 11,475, my capital figure. So all I need to do is find out the figure that will reduce 16,925 to 11,475. So I'm going to just do a quick calculation here. So I'm going to say 16,925 minus 11,475 gives me 5,450. And that's the correct figure to make my net asset now equal my capital. Let's look at another question. In this question, again, we're asked to find a missing figure. Only this time, we're asked to find the missing accumulated depreciation because we're not being given the carrying amount for our non-current assets, but rather the non-current assets at cost. So using the same method as before, I'm going to start by entering my capital because we need to work out what the missing figure is in the assets category. So I'll start by putting in my capital figure, which is 3,500. Next, I'm going to work out my preliminary net assets figure. So you can see I have my net assets at cost, my unknown accumulated depreciation which is going to be a reduction, a negative, on my non-current assets at cost. And I only have one liability. So right now, I've got a preliminary net assets figure of 4,500 
and it would really needs to be 3,500. So to find this figure here, I'm going to do the capital, so 3,500 minus 4,500, and I get negative 1,000, which is correct to make my net assets and my capital balance. Now you would actually answer that the accumulated depreciation is in fact 1,000, you wouldn't say minus 1,000, because we're not taking into account the fact that I, um, I haven't built my formula correctly here. So I've, I'm showing it as a negative, but if it was a question in an exam, you would just answer 1,000. Here's another question. So in this question, we've been asked to find the bank balance. Now our bank balance should be an asset. But let's do the same process as before, and we're going to take our capital amount and enter that over here. So 10, 130. So now that's the figure I know I want to make my net asset calculation equal to. So let's put the figures, let's transfer the figures from here into the calculation here. So you can see I've made room for the missing figure and my preliminary net assets figure is 10015. I'm trying to find that bank balance there. So I do 10, 130 minus 10, 15. Oops, missed out zero, 10, five. Give me 115, and that, you can see there, brings my net assets and my capital equal to each other. One last question. So this question is a little bit different to the previous ones because in this question we are asked to find how much profit has been made by Bobby. So we can see here that the profit or the loss for the year sits down in the um, capital section of the statement of financial position or balance sheet. So we're going to use that information to try and calculate what the uh, profit was. So we've got a slightly different uh, equation that we're going to use here. So we know that uh, net assets are equal to capital. So if the this side of the uh, accounting equation has changed, we could say that the increase or decrease, but in this case, the increase in net assets is equal to either um, or rather has been caused by either capital being introduced and or a profit being made. And then, of course, we have to take into account the, the drawings here. So let's see what information we can take from the question. First of all, let's see. Ah, here we go. So we are being told that. Don't know what happened there. Um, so we're being told that the net assets up to the financial year ending 31st of May X3 was 28,500. We are focusing on the statements for X4. Now we want to find the increase in the net assets. So let's just take that figure there, the 28,500, and plug that in down here. We're going to use this little calculation down here just to look at the difference between X3 and X4, year three, year four. And we're starting with 28,500 for last year. Now what we're going to do is here we're going to calculate the net assets for year, um, year four with the information that we've been given on the left hand side. So here we go. 
here's the information. Um, we have the carrying amounts of our non-current assets. We have our overdrawn bank balance. So here we have our assets and our liabilities, very similar to the previous questions. I've just laid it out slightly differently so I could get it all on one screen. So this information is complete. I have no missing figures. So from this, I can calculate my net assets. Let me just quickly do that. So it's Okay, so there's my net, net assets at the end of the second year. And then to calculate the increase, I'm just going to take one away from the other. So 36, 800 minus 28,500. There we go, 8,300. So that's my increase in net assets. So if I go back to this uh, equation I had above, I've just reproduced it down below here. It's the same equation. So my increase is 8,000. 300 and that's equal to my capital introduced well we've been told that Bobby did not introduce any new capital into the business so that's going to be zero my profit figure or rather Bobby's profit figure is the unknown quantity and then drawings of 15,200 again we are told that here in the question so all I need to do now is rearrange this formula or rather this equation to isolate profit. So I'm going to take everything over to the left hand side and say this is equal to 8,300 and then I'm going to say it's, well, I don't need to take the zero across. I just need to take the 15,200 and change it to a plus. There we go. 23,500 is my missing profit figure. That's my answer. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. We have another part to this video, part two, which looks at how we can use control accounts in the general ledger to find missing figures. Thanks for watching.